Hi boys and girls, tonight you're going to be practicing finding the perimeter by using multiplication. The past few days you've been finding the perimeter using addition and we're just going to move one step further and now use multiplication and a formula to find the perimeter. Remember the perimeter is the distance around a figure. When you're measuring the length of a figure is the measure of the longer side and the width is the measure of the shorter side. So let's get going. You should have out a pencil and your math notebook so that you are ready. So remember to take notes as you watch tonight's video. You want to start with the title and the date. Then you want to add any notes when you see this symbol of the pencil. Lastly, remember to include at least two examples from the video. So you might want to pause the video now and write today's date and then write the title, Finding Perimeter by Using Multiplication. So let's start with a question. Julio is putting a stone border around his rectangular garden. The length of the garden is 7 feet. The width of the garden is 5 feet. How many feet of stone border does Julio need? So remember that perimeter is the distance around a shape. And if you haven't, in, ooh, that's a squiggly line. If you haven't already included that definition in your notes um, this week, I would definitely pause the video right now and write the definition of perimeter. So to find out how many feet of stone border Julio needs, find the perimeter of the garden. So when I'm looking at these questions, I'm always trying to get a picture in my head. So I'm thinking of him putting little stones. So here's his garden. And I picture him putting little stones around the border of the garden. So we know that the length is seven and that the width is five. And I just said earlier, the length is always going to be the longer side. So in this one, this would be the length and this would be the width. So this is what we've been doing up to date. You can use addition to find the perimeter. So if we were using addition, oh, I like their picture a lot better than mine. Um, you could use 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. And we know that 7 plus 5 is 12, and another 12 would be 24 feet. So we know that Julio needs 24 feet of stone border. So addition is the strategy we have been using to date. But we can also, my friends, use multiplication. We can find perimeter of a rectangle by multiplying, and that's going to be our next unit. So I hope that you're all getting out those multiplication flashcards because for the rest of the year we will be multiplying. So perimeter we can also think of as 2 times the length and 2 times the width. So remember, the length is the longer side. So we have 12 centimeters is the length. So we can do 2 times 12 plus then 2 times the width. In this case, it's 8. So 2 times 8. So 2 times 12 is 24. And 2 times 8 is 16. So then we would just need to add together. 24 and 16 for a grand total of 40 centimeters. So just like when we were solving problems in our last unit, you always want to include the units because they want to know how many centimeters. So the answer would be 40 centimeters, not just 40. So you guys, um, know about shapes. So this shape right here is a square. And what I know about a square is it's a special type of rectangle. And it's special because all sides are the same length. So if I want to ever find the perimeter of a square, I just need to use the length of one side times four, because I know that all sides are the same. So you can still stick to the other and do 2 times 16 
plus 2 times 16, or we can use 16 times 4, and 6 times 4 is 24, and 1 times 4 is 4, and then we add that 2, and we get 64. Or, if we did it the other way, we have 16 times 2, which is 32, and then another 16 times 2, which is another 32, and we get the same answer. And it's not just 64, it would be 64 inches. So really this lesson, what we're talking about is we're using a formula. I see the pencil here, so you're going to want to pause the video and write this definition. And you might even want to share a little sample like this in your notes so you can always use your notes to go back to when you're solving future problems. So a formula is a mathematical rule, and you can use a formula to find perimeter. And here's the formula. Per P for perimeter equals 2 times L for length plus 2 times W for width. So please be sure to pause the video and write that formula down. We'll be looking for that in your notes tomorrow. So now if we were to apply that formula to this shape here, see if you can fill in the blanks for this problem here. So pause the video and do that please. Okay, so let's compare our notes. So I have 2 times length, and the longer side here is 18. So I have 2 times 18 plus 2 times 14, the width. So 2 times 18 is 36. 2 times 14 is 28. And 36 plus 28. And obviously, if you weren't sure and you can't add those two numbers in your head, you can write it out. So 36 plus 28 is 64. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 64 inches. Okay, so this is a practice problem that I'd like to see you try to solve on your own, and I'd like you to use the formula that's at the top of the page. So pause the video and solve the, for the perimeter. Okay, so how did you do? This is how I solved mine. I had two times the length, and the length was 110 meters, plus two times the width, which was 42 meters. So two times 110, I used my knowledge of number sense. So 100 plus 100 is 200, and 10 and 10 is 20. Or I can do 110 plus 110, Okay, we get the same answer, and I did the same for 42. Okay, 40 and 40 is 80, and 2 and 2 is 4, or 84. And then I added 220 plus 84, all right? And I got 304 meters. How'd you do? Okay, before we go, let's try one more. Ooh, what do you notice about this shape? And what can I do when I have a shape like this? Pause the video. Solve using the formula. I looked at this one two ways. I know that this is a square, and we said earlier that a square is a special rectangle because it has equivalent sides. So I could apply that knowledge and just say that a square is four times the length of any side. So I could do four times four, which is four groups of four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Or I could have applied the perimeter, perimeter formula, that mathematical rule. Two times four plus two times four. So two times four is eight. And 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So the perimeter of this square is 16 meters. So now it's time for your check. Complete the lesson check or quiz that accompanies this video. Remember that this check will not count as a quiz grade. Your teacher will just use the results instead to provide additional assistance as needed. Look over your notes. Do you have the date? 
Do you have the title? Did you write down any definitions that I encourage you to do? And do you have at least two examples? And be sure your work is neat. Use the lines on the pages in your notebook, please. Okay, good luck. Find the check. Make sure it's the right date and title and go for it. See you tomorrow.